Hi, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a payroll deduction. And not just any payroll deduction, but the other deduction, which is another deduction outside of health care or medical care or 401ks or anything like that. These are the deductions such as child support, um, a repayment of personal usage of cell phones, or anything owed to the employer. Now, in order to do this, the way that I would set it up, would I would go ahead and go into list up here in the toolbar. And I would go into payroll items list. Now in here, you'll see all the items that you can deduct out of a person's paycheck or even additions to a person's paycheck. Anything that's an item for you to include within a paycheck or withdraw out of a paycheck will be listed here. But what we're going to do is create, for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to create two items. The first thing we're going to create is a child support payment. The second thing is a reimbursement or something that the, the employee owes to the employer, whether it's a credit card and they charge personal charges or a company cell phone that they use for personal use and they have to repay it but that's going to be secondary. The first thing we're going to do is create a child support payment garnishment. So we're going to want to go ahead and do new payroll item. Easy setup. Other deduction. And then we're going to say it's a miscellaneous. And we're going to say we're doing it to the California Child Support Services. Now, when you get a child support notice in the mail, normally they give you an account number or a reference number to refer back to, so that way they can identify that that money is coming from that person. That's the number that you're going to want to enter here. You're going to want to go ahead and put the payment frequency, when that you need to make this payment, whether it's monthly, weekly, bi-weekly, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to select weekly. Hit next, and hit finish. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make this big, and I'm going to make sure that this item is added on here, and it is it's right here and you could tell because it says California Child Support Services again this is just a list of our payroll items now we should be able to rename this item and you can actually name it child support and you can put the name of the employee if you want so that way you know because everybody's child support payments are going to be different so you could go ahead and name it or you can leave it blank it's completely up to you if you just want a general one you can just go ahead and leave it blank and you can use it for all employees just make sure that in this area where it says amount you see where I'm pointing that this area doesn't have a dollar figure because everybody's dollar figure is going to be different and that the person or the employees that are paying this child support are all paying it to the same company or the same facility because I would hate for one facility to get that information or that payment and it's not the correct one and then the person becomes in default. So we're going to go ahead and name it child support. We're going to hit next. And you're going to want to do it into the payroll liability account. Again because it is a liability it is once they get to the point where it's coming out of their paycheck it's now the employees and the company's liability. And we're, we're not going to do tax tracking. Again if you want to do tax tracking um, to make sure that it's in the proper line item for your CPA you could go ahead and select the option of where you want to put it you can go ahead and contact your CPA see where they want you to put it or you could go ahead and leave it as none for the sake of this tutorial we're gonna leave it as none and child support payments are not subject to taxes so we're not gonna select any of these items Now, if this was a different item that we were deducting, we could select whether we want it based on 
quantity or we want it based on hours, but we're going to do neither because it's going to be one flat rate. Now you're going to want to select whether you want this to be calculated on gross or net pay. And depending on how the child support is handled in your state is how you would handle this. But we're going to say net pay because it's the amount after all taxes for the sake of this tutorial. Now, here you could enter in whether you want a percentage or a flat amount. So, for the sake of this argument, John Doe was reported to us that he has to pay $250 for child support. So now you'll see child support, $250, payable to California Child Support Services. And there's the account number or reference number that you would use. That means this item is set up. So now, if you want to set this up for your employees, what you would do is you'd go into the Employee Center, select the employee that it's affected, go into Edit Employee, right click edit employee from the change tabs you're going to want to select payroll and compensation information and you're going to want to add this to the additions deductions and company contribution section so child support amounts two hundred and fifty dollars and you want to go ahead and hit OK and now this employee is set up to have child support taken out of every single one of his paychecks now, for the second step, it would be to create an item, a payroll item, for, let's say, deductions for personal things either charged or used on the company credit card or cell phone. So let's say that you have an employee that you offered or you issued a company credit card to, and you found out that they charge $100 worth of gas on that credit card for personal use and you want to take that back from them within their payroll. This is how you would set that up. You go to the same steps. So you go to list, payroll items list, payroll item, new, again easy setup, other deductions, okay this is a miscellaneous deduction We're not going to put a payee vendor because they're paying it to you or the company. So if you want to put the company's name, you can, but you don't have to. Again, the same thing with account number. And you also don't need to schedule a regular payment for this item because it's going to be a one-time item or maybe a once-in-a-blue type item. It's not something that you're going to deduct all the time. However, if you do have things like uniform cost that are deducted every other week or every paycheck, then this is where you're going to want to elect to have this done weekly. Okay, so again, here's the payroll item here. We're going to want to edit it and name it Company Reimbursements or whatever it is that you want to, to name it. You know, you may want to call it personal usage of business property whatever it is that you want to call or name this deduction this is what's going to show up on their check or on the check stub so whatever it is make sure that it's not giving too much detail so just for the sake of this tutorial I like company or I'm sorry employee reimbursement or employee repayment okay again if you want to track it by job or anything like that you could okay select again there's no agency there's no number that identifies this employee. Now, if there's an employee number or something like that, you could put that, but I would suggest you leave that blank so you can use it as a blanket deduction for all employees. 
Now this is not going to be a liability account, so you're going to want to put it into an account that won't affect your liabilities or your taxes or things that you have to pay out. So let's just say it's an employee advance account. So we're going to put it into em employee advances because in a sense, if they're using a company property, whether credit card or telephone, and you know they, they use it for personal reasons, it's kind of an advance. But I mean, again, it's whatever account your your CPA or your president of your company or an account that you feel comfortable putting it into. So there's not going to be any tax tracking, and we're not going to withhold any taxes because it's not a tax item. It's just them reimbur reimbursing the company for things that they used. Okay, and this is not going to be based on hours or quantity. It's going to be neither. And we're going to want to do it on net pay. So net pay is after all taxes and everything have been taken out. Okay. Again, we're not going to put the amount here because it could vary from time to time based on the employee. And you're going to want to hit finish. So there's the item set up. And that's it. That's how you set up deductions. Now, if you want to see how to run payroll with those deductions, please visit the video that we have on our channel regarding just that. Thank you for visiting. Have any questions or suggestions or anything you'd like to see, please go ahead and comment or email. And make sure you subscribe and share our channel with others. See you on the next video.